Hello, hello, hello. One second, let me move some stuff around. Hi, hi. hi. Alright, so we're gonna be playing some more Assassin's Creed 2. I was not um, able, I didn't have time to go in and get the codex pages. So, we're going to start with that, because we only have two, two left, I think. So we're going to start there, and then jump into finishing sequence 14. And then, if there's still time, um, we'll start Brotherhood. And that's a big if there's still time, because I don't know how long this is going to take. Alrighty, let's get started. All right, so we had just gotten one. And there's one up here. Don't think there's another one. Maybe we'll go get some of these viewpoints on our way there. These killings know no borders. Salute. Ah, uh, God will punish those responsible. Oh, I gotta. 
I'm not draw attention to myself. I make metal work here. Uh, has anyone seen my assistant? Here. All right, let's get going. Oh, hi, people. My God, I makes you dead. I don't think I can get over there, so we'll just run over here and figure out a way to get over there. Because it's this building, whatever this building is. Just go get them. Our next page. We'll just run up here. Maybe along the way we'll find a um blacksmith. Since I broke my armor. No, stay back. Guard. What's the mine is yours? Spare, sir. I am just a servant. Mm -hmm. What is this? No. Still not a blacksmith. I oh, use blacksmith. The smithy arts are available. Repair, uh, repair all. No offense, but I didn't think you had them on. You didn't think I had the money? Rude. Is there like a shop? No? Okay. Is there. by all of this. Well, one man's coin is as good as another. All right. We upgraded our armor. Who is this random person? You find this amusing, perhaps? I can easily have your throat cut. Yes. I don't understand. So rude, he just hurt my armor that I just bought. Hey, there we go. 
I can't sink from right here. I gotta sink from up here. Alright. Um, where's my haystack? Oh, okay. That scared me. I thought I was just gonna fall to my death. Alright. So the codex page is here. Okay, alright. Codex page. Retrieved. Time to get out of here. So we have one more left. Let's go find another... There's more viewpoints. I feel like there's some... There might be like a codex page hiding behind them. Because I can't see where it is on the map and I don't have the map fully unlocked just yet. Stay away from me! Hey, I got money. Sweet. Watch yourself, a friend. Up here? That's where it's telling me to go? Okay. that unlock any more codex pages? No. But there's more viewpoints I have not grabbed, so let's continue. I have traditional remedies and the wisdom of the Arabes. <laughs> we'll miss a waste. I just what ran into that? the wall. That was funny. Alright. Uh, up here? Anything revealed this time? Still no. Okay. And there's another viewpoint over here. I'll just continue. Remember to visit Mercutio's Cucina for all your blacksmithing, weapons, armor, rock speed. Of lead and pomegranate. I feel lead and pomegranate. Interesting. 
I don't think I want to drink it, but it's interesting. Okay, and this is going to be the viewpoint. There's a shelter in chat if you are interested in capturing it. No. I'm not a peasant. This one's open. I want a shelter. I'll do pokey catch. There it is. Here's my lovely haystack. Still no codex pages. Hmm. We have two more viewpoints up in this area. But it won't hurt us if we go get them. So. Congratulations, Hammer, on capturing Shelder. Are there any? No. Right, well, there's one more. I have a feeling there's not going to be any in this area. But we will get the last viewpoint up here. this building. Okay. We do actually need to talk to him and get more medicine. Trust me. You'll soon feel much better, friend. Do you think we can... Okay, we already got good armor. I thought we could get like pouches. Apparently not. You just gonna hold it? So how are you gonna climb with that in your hand, sir? No. Now, merchants acting privately may do 
Paso with dossiers of reprise. There he is, Paso! You think you can out... There! Get him! Ezio, now why would you willingly jump off the building? Come on. However, we are trying to get over to this building. buildings. There. Um, a stack. We only have 13 more viewpoints to get, though. And there are no codex pages here. We do have four, five viewpoints to get in Venice. But I think we're gonna go to the travel place and go to a different area because I don't think there are any codex pages in this area. Let's see, where do we want to go? We go to Florence. We we'll go to Leonardo's workshop. Yes, take me to that place. Alright, are there codex pages in Florence? look like it, but it looks like there's a bunch of viewpoints we don't have just yet. I guess let's run down here and see. We can get those fairly quickly once we get there. I may be expensive, but my goods are worth the extra quattro. Sweet. All right. Okay. Um, codex pages? Codex pages. No codex pages. Pokédex pages? You know... I've distilled an elixir of lead and pomegranate. 
I think they'd be a little bit easier to find. I just don't know where I left one and just one. I don't remember. Oh, it's over here. Okay. How do I... Sixty-two out of seventy-three. Still no codex page. All right, well let's go get these two. I have a feeling we're not gonna find it in Florence either. There he is. That was funny. Springboards got added. There's something new that it just keeps popping up. Call me a frog man? I don't want to be called a frog man. That's a no on the codex pages. Well, let's go get this viewpoint and then go back to the um, travel place. We we'll need to go get the rest of the viewpoints in Venice. Cause it would be cool to 100% viewpoints. I don't think I've done that in a game yet. Oh, oh crap! Hold it right there. Nope, I'm running don't away. Talk. My nose itches. A message of contempt. The city's youth apparently gathered and bear their posterity. I'm gonna bribe this man. one is right here. What the hell is he doing? Mm. 
Oh. Okay. There's a poniard in chat if you're interested in capturing it. So just to make sure. Nope. No codex pages. Alright, we're gonna go to the travel place. Over here. See, we're doing to Venice. Let's go to Tuscany. Doesn't have a grade. We'll go to Tuscany. Apparently, I'm wanted here. Oh, here's the here's a codex page. All right. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Pouches. any of these so I guess it's fine and he can dye my clothes Last month of his country bought three hundred five to What are they doing to me? Nothing. Yes. That was the final codex page. Um, I don't know where I need to go now. Back to a travel plaza, I guess. Um, let's see, where's the closest one? Up here. Hang on. Alright, I don't need them anymore. I just needed them to divert the guards.
And so what if I... Uh, I don't know if I'll be going back to Venice. I want to go... Finish the... Um... I think I'll have to go to more places than just where I was. So I went to Florence. Florence was fine. Tuscany was fine. I think Romagna? Oh crap. Wrong way. I think there's a few... Wait, I don't know if I want to go to the docks. Maybe. There's a few, um... viewpoints here I don't think I got. Yeah, there's one. There's two here that I didn't get. And there's a special memory I also didn't get. Alright. I get in? Do I need to go across the other way? Oh yeah, there's a bridge in. Yeah. Oh, I'm notorious here as well. Nice. I wreak havoc and then I just leave. Okay, Harold. And there's a... Alright, well, this is the building. How I get up the building, I have no idea. I jumped to this window. Where's the hay bale? Oh, there it is. Company of food is offering an 
Okay, and there's one more right outside the city. Right over there. Oh. Just let's figure out how to get over there. And it's this one right here. So that was it for this area. Where's the closest uh, thingamajig? Down here, really? Alright. Is there a horse I could steal? Stealing necessarily. The horses are here for me to use. Yeah. I didn't mean to run him over. It's not my fault it's dark and I can't see. Okay. So we got all the ones here. I just think there's some in Venice we need to get. This is Carnival. Just the Carnival area. There's a bond suite? Bound suite? 
in chat if you are interested in capturing it. Let's see. Where's my haystack? It's over here. So we have 68 of 73. So I think... If I can do the math correctly. We just have these last few left in... Um, Venice to get. Come here, my dude. Give me your money. The thief. No. Have you lost your mind? Be gone from here, shame. Take what you want. Spare me. I'm just a message here. Yeah. Get out of my way, people. Why would you shame yourself this way, idiot? Oh. Am I wearing a mask? No, I'm not. Sixty nine of seventy three. All right, we've got yeah, sixty nine. Nice. No, I no, I am not stopping here. We have one, two, three, four. We have four left in this area, or in Venice, not in this area. So, sort of like across Venice. I'm excited. Get out of the way. Stay back! Don't make me kill you! No. The marinated to come! Only the best of raiment here, friend! Silks and clothes of finest meat! The carnival area is pretty cool. I like it. Due to the shortage of funds after the recent campaign in defense of the Republic's foreign interests, a levy will be imposed upon all What in the world? What is this? This is 70. So the next one we need to go to is over here. Looks like we already have this area though. Whatever. Oh, we can't run that way. You 
After accidentally um, manhandling somebody, we're gonna continue. Oh, it's right here. Okay, alright. Uh, lady. This thing looks like a clock, but I guess I can't climb it. Alright. So everything's done over there. We just have this one and that one to do. I guess I should probably update, um... My, uh... Title. Yes, anyone. There, title updated. I don't know why I paused, nobody's attacking me. It's right here. Okay. And I cannot just climb up the front door. This one that I don't know how to get to. One more, one more. Oh. 
in this building area, I isn't it? supposed to get over there. So it's in here. Stay away from me. Can you just walk in? Ah, oh, cool. Right there. How do we get up there? Okay, all viewpoints synchronized. Okay. Alrighty, so now we can find the traveler person. There's one over here. And we can go back. back to the villa. And then we're going to begin the final part of sequence 14. There's a cascoon in chat if you're interested in capturing it. I 
don't know if I actually need to do this. Salute, Ser Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? Let's see if we can renovate all of them. I think we should have enough money. Yeah, alright, so... Buon viaggio! Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? What book am I looking at? Oh. Okay. All right, Claudia. Thank you, Claudia. A presto, Ezio. All right. Um. I unlocked Podesta of Monteggioni. Reach eighty percent of your stronghold's total value. Oh boy. We are ready. Let's go. It seems you have yet to translate all your codex pages, Nipote. <laughs> go and see Leonardo and have him make sense of their contents. Only then can we begin. Oh, never mind. I gotta go find Leonardo. It's not Leonardo right here. It's not. All right, where is Leonardo? I guess he's the one that's got an L. Yeah, he's right here. Leonardo! Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha! <laughs> you found another one! How exciting! If you transpose this word and move this line to the left, it's deciphered. One health square gained. Okay. You can order architect. Uh, no, something else. Alright. Yeah, no final code message. You're hoping you would have said something cool? Yeah, it would have been nice. Ezio! It is time, Uncle. Let us finish what you and my father started all those years ago. Indeed. Perhaps now we can finally make sense of this prophecy and put a stop to whatever it is the Spaniard is plotting. We should start by locating the vault. The codex pages will lead us to it. Let's take a look. Rodrigo Borgia, AKA the Spaniard. A dark stain on human history, Rodrigo left a trail of blood a mile wide on his quest to unify Italy under the Templar banner. Anyone who opposed him ended up in little pieces inside a sack, or, if he was in a good mood, poisoned. Once he was crowned Pope, Rodrigo, or should I say Alexander VI, used his influence to wage war with any city that held out against the Templars. And then there were the rumored X-rated atrocities. Hundreds of courtesans brought to the Vatican by the cartload, and the Pope's close friendship with his illegitimate daughter, Lucrezia. Oh yeah, and did I mention the killings never stopped? Throughout all his public debauchery, Rodrigo was quietly murdering his enemies behind the scenes, consolidating Templar power for the moment when they would seize control. Okay. Put the codex pages in their proper order. How do I know where they go?
All right, Nightbot. Like, I don't understand. Trying to figure out. Decipher the codex pages to discover the location of the vault. Put the codex pages in their proper places on the wall. But I can't move them, so I assume they're already in. Okay. No text data. Zoom to see image data. Interesting. Um, all I can do is rotate them. Maybe I need to read them. I have spent days with the artifact now, or has it been weeks, months? I can no longer be certain. The others come from time to time, offering food or distraction. They say I should separate myself from these studies. Malik has even suggested I abandon them entirely, but I am not yet able to turn away. This apple of Eden will be understood. It must be. Is it a weapon? Is it a catalog? Is it somehow both? He who increaseth knowledge incre increaseth sorrow. The philosophy of such a statement I can understand, but for it to be true, literally true, a society that waged wars with ideas and information in place of steel and swords, its function is simple, elementary even, dominion, control, but the process, the methods and means it employs, these are fascinating. Those subjected to its glow are promised all that they desire, it asks only one thing in return, complete and total obedience. And who can truly refuse? It is temptation incarnate. I remember my own moment of weakness when confronted by Al Mualim, my confidence shaken by his words. He, who had just been like a father, was now revealed to be my greatest enemy. Just the briefest flicker of doubt was all he needed to creep into my mind. But I vanquished his phantoms, restored my self-confidence, and sent him from this world. I freed myself. But now I wonder, did I really? For here I sit, desperate to understand that which I swore to destroy. This is why the apple has a tale to tell. I sense the flickers of something great and dangerous. We are all at risk. It is my duty to do something about it. I must not, cannot, turn away until I found the truth. Okay, well that did not tell me a single thing. So this is page six, yeah. I don't understand. And I, I, we're gonna, I don't understand what I'm doing with the codex wall. in the right place.
a map of the entire world. But there are lands shown here that do not exist. Apparently they do exist. I imagine they've yet to be discovered. Or rediscovered. How is this possible? Perhaps the vault will hold the answer. Do you see where it is then? No. It can't be. The vault. It looks like the vault is in Roma. Then the Spaniard. This is why he became Pope. Now I understand. It's not the vault alone he's gained access to, but the staff as well. What staff? The Codex always spoke of two keys. Two pieces of Eden needed to open the vault. One is the apple. And the other is the staff. The papal staff is the second piece of Eden. For years, no, decades, we've sought these answers. And now, at last, we have them. But so too could the Spaniard. And if he does, if he finds a way into the vault, its contents will make the apple seem a trifling thing. I must go to Roma and find the vault. What are the rest of you? We'll do what we do best. Cause some trouble in the city, giving you the freedom to conduct your search. Just let me know when you are ready, Nipote. Okie dokie. X marks the spot is synced. What am I doing? I can go talk to him. Roma beckons, Ezio. Let me know when you are ready to depart. Let's go to Rome. Boca Halupo. Infiltrate the Sistine Chapel and assassinate Rodrigo Borgia, the Spaniard. Enter the Vatican. Oh boy. Can I be seen? Doesn't say I have to do it without being seen. It would probably be for the best if I wasn't seen. There's a roly coly. Sir, I just jumped right in front of your face and you didn't see me?
Hmm. Didn't think there was gonna be a guard up there. I'm sorry, Rolly Cooley escaped. Oh, Jesus. Why are you up here? Get down! Sephora! Behind you! Wow, you're actually not as big an idiot as you look. Jeez, I should have got a new sword oh, ages don't. ago. No, no. No, absolutely not. We can do this in peace. Up here? 
Can you I see him! There! Where do you think you're going? Come on. took way longer than it should have. Uh, let's see. Where am 
I supposed to go? Oh, up there. Alright. Remain undetected. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Stole that man's money. Should not have stole his money. I'm gonna reload. Alright, remain undetected. I should not have stolen money. We're stealing money. Seen him before. No. I see him. There. All right. I guess I gotta actually like stop hitting me. Wait, okay. Patrem omnipotentem, factorem celi et serrae, visibilium omnium et invisibilium. Et in unum dominum Jesum Christum, filium dei ingenitum, et ex patre natum ante omnia sacra, deum de deum, crap, 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 crap. And there's a Dragalgia? Dragalga? We're gonna, we're gonna have to catch it. Alright. Cannot jump into the middle of church. Smart person wouldn't have done that. Ex Patre Natum Ante Omnia Saecula. Deum de Deo, Lumen de Lumine, Deum Verum de Deo Verum. Is this just, is this it? Is this what I do? Genitum non factum consumstantia. Rodrigo Borgia is gone? I thought, I thought I was beyond this. But I'm not. I've waited too long. Lost too much. Requiescat in pace, you bastard. I don't think so. Oh. What? 
And I gotta fight this man with his glowing scepter. How is it you resist? I see. Kind of you to bring me the apple. Now give it here! Why a farty fondere? Always the fighter. Just like your father. Well, rejoice, my child. For you will see him again soon. You will give it to me. As you wish. Fascinating. An impressive power, this. But if you think it's going to save you, another thing coming. Ooh. I'll cut you down, assassin. Where are my lovely assassin helpers? You are right to fear me. Guards have said the exact same thing, sir. A clever trick, but useless. You cannot stop me. You cannot stop me. I'll cut you down, assassin. There we go. No, you will not take this from me. It's finished, Rodrigo. Lay down your arms, and I will make sure the end comes swiftly. Really, Angel? And would you give up so easily were it the other way around? Why don't we find out? Is he invisible now? Oh my gosh.
this place. Open, damn you! Open! It's over, Rodrigo. No more tricks. No more ancient artifacts. No more weapons. Let us see what you are made of, old man. All right, then. If that's how you want to play it. I do hand-to-hand -hand combat with this what man. What do you even want with the vault, Rodrigo? Don't you know what lies within? <laughs> or do you mean to tell me the great and powerful assassins didn't figure it out? Figure what out? God. <laughs> it's God that dwells within. <laughs> You expect me to believe that Gaul lives beneath the Vaticano? A more logical location than a kingdom in a cloud, don't you think? Surrounded by singing angels and cherubim makes for a lovely image. But the truth is far more interesting. Let's say I was to believe you. What do you think you'll do when you open that door? I don't care. It's not approval I'm after. Just power. And you think you'll give it up? Whatever lies beyond that wall won't be able to resist the staff and apple. They were made for felling gods. God is meant to be all-knowing, all-powerful. You think a couple of ancient relics can harm him? You... You are the Pope, and yet you dismiss the central text of your faith? <laughs> are you so naive? I became Pope because it gave me access. It gave me power. Do you think I believe a single Why is he shiny? Because he's got the power of Eden. Just uh, like the current Pope, yes. Over the past 10, years. But he's evil, so. There was, um, this is a fictional video game. In this world, yes, this Pope was evil. I don't even know if this was an actual, I mean, I would assume it's a, a historical, like this was an actual Pope at one point. Fictional video game based on history. I would assume Rodrigo Borgia was a pope at some point. You can't. You can't. It's my destiny. Mine. I am the prophet. You never were. Get it over with, then. No. Killing you won't bring my family back. I'm done. Nulla è reale. Tutto è lecito. Requiescat in pace. Rodrigo Borgia. Greetings, Prophet. It is good you have come. Let us see it. To give thanks. We must speak. Who are you? Many names. When I died, it was Minerva. Before that, Merva and Mera. And on and on. 
The others, too. Juno, who was before called Uni. Jupiter, who was before called Tinia. Saying makes sense. Our words are not meant for you. What are you talking about? There's no one else here. Enough. I do not wish to speak with you, but to you. You are the prophet. You've played your part. You anchor him, but please be silent that we may commune. Listen. We're still flesh, and our home still whole. Your kind betrayed us. We who made you. We who gave you life. We were strong, but you were many. And both of us craved war. So busy were we with earthly concerns, we failed to notice the heavens. And by the time we did, the world burned until naught remained but ash. It should have ended then and there. But we built you in our own image. We built you to survive. And so we did. You were our numbers. Your kind and mine. It took sacrifice. Strength. Compassion. But we rebuilt. And as life returned to the world, we endeavored to ensure this tragedy would not be repeated. But now, we are dying, and time will work against us. Truth turned into myth and legend. What we built, misunderstood. Let my words preserve the message and make a record of our loss. But let my words also bring hope. You must find the other temples, built by those who knew to turn away from war. They worked to protect us to save us from the fire. If you can find them, if their work can be saved, so too might this world. Be quick, for time grows short, and guard against the cross, for there are many who will stand in your way. It is done. The message is delivered. We are gone now from this world. All of us. We can do no more. The rest is up to you, Desmond. What? Who is Desmond? I don't understand. Please, wait. I have so many questions. She did say the name, yeah. No one caught Snorlax? Oh, that's frustrating. What the fuck? Ooh. Aww. Okay, time for credits. Yeah, not the best time for credits. Um. Mm mm. And there's no way for me to skip them as I press all of the buttons on my controller. There's only about 10 minutes until I Need get all of my equipment ready to go oh, before they here do. Here we go. Desmond. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Sean, I need you and Rebecca to get everything in here packed up and loaded into the truck. You and I'll deal with the Templars. What, they're here? It was only a matter of time before they discovered us. To be honest, I'm surprised it took them as long as it did. Let's go. So, what's the plan? We ditch this place, and then what? 
There's another safe house. It's... We've got company. The truck's just up ahead. Mr. Miles, this is an unexpectedly pleasant turn of events. And here I thought I'd have to waste more men on you. Kind of you to save me the trouble. What do you want, Vidic? You have this ass hat. Come I know. We miss you terribly. There's still so much work for us to do together. It's not happening, Warren. You continue to disappoint in every conceivable way, Miss Stillman. I saved your life once. Do you remember? And this is how you repay me? You saved me so you could keep experimenting on people, destroying their lives. And for what? Oh, this tired argument again. As I recall, you were there, at my side, every step of the way. Their blood is on your hands just as much as mine. You need to stop him. I'm on it. How do I... is it the same thing? There we go. Desmond can do the thing. I mean, Ezio is his uh, ancestor. The only reason that um, we were Ezio was so. Oh, come on. Get up. Was so Desmond could learn how to be an assassin. Climb in there. Uh oh, Doc. Looks like it's just you and me now. Enjoy your victory, Mr. Miles. Temporary as it is. Desmond, we have to go. There you are. Come on. Help Lucy into the van. Hurry, Desmond. We need to go. You'll have your turn, Desmond. Warren's gonna get what he deserves. I promise. So what now? Where are we headed? There's a cabin up north. We should be safe there. At least for a little while. I have to analyze those tapes from your session. Figure out what's happening. And then what? Here we go. I've got you all hooked up. Got a long drive ahead of us. Figured you might want to play around with the Animus on the way. Alright, but I got some questions first. I mean, what the hell was that in the vault? What you saw proves everything I was afraid of. The Templars aren't our biggest threat. Not by a long shot. So what, the sun is? What's it gonna do, cook the earth? I doubt it, but I don't know. There's been some speculation that the earth's magnetic field is weakening. A sufficiently strong flare could flip the poles and cause a geomagnetic reversal. It's all theoretical, but if it happens, the planet could become geologically unstable. Very unstable. It's meant to be the stuff of pseudoscience, but clearly something catastrophic happened to the people of the first civilization. Minerva, was it? She seemed to think we were due for a second round. So either way, we're fucked. I don't know yet. We'll keep reviewing the tapes. And you can keep digging through your memories. Maybe there's more to discover. All right. So I better get started. Congrats! 
Hello there. Yeah. We just finished. Um, the credits are rolling. It was a very good game. I enjoyed it. I was waiting to see what was going to happen after the credits, because uh, I don't remember. There's a lot of credits. Powered by Adobe Flash. photos. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that's the end of the credits. Let's see. There's loot boxes. There's a ladder right there. There's nothing, I mean, besides, you know, finishing the feathers and the viewpoints and all that fun stuff. I don't think there's anything left for us to do. Let's zoom back in just a tad. Yeah, there's no exclamation points. I think it's just for us to do what we want. Alright, so that's cool. So Assassin's Creed 2 is over. take like a five minute break or so and I'll set up brotherhood and I need a snack I'm getting hungry so I will be right back if you've been watching for a while feel free to take a break with me um, but I will be back in like five minutes or so
15 seconds was not enough time for me to eat the cracker I was eating. All right, let me swap scenes. So next up we have, oh, I didn't even change the name here. Ooh, get to change the name. Let's do that right now. Streaming Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, we are wor working our way through the Assassin's Creed series. So, we just finished Assassin's Creed 2, which was 1474 to 1499. Um, we're headed towards Brotherhood, we're going to start Brotherhood, and it's 1499 to 1507. So that's only what? That's less than 10 years, that's interesting. Okay. All right, well, let's get started. So we're still following Ezio and Desmond and all those fun things. It's just a little bit later. Alright, so we want to do story mode. We're just gonna do a Desmond session. I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I didn't. But here I am. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology they won't stop until every single one of us serves them literally fighting against them are the assassins a group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will i was born into the brotherhood a couple of weeks ago the templars found me they took me prisoner strapped me into a machine they built and put me to work it's called an animus that's where i spent most of my time Exploring the memories of my ancestors, discovering entire lives locked deep inside my DNA. First, I revisited the life of Altair ibn La'ahad, an assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a Piece of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures, but we were just getting started. Back into another animus I went. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They've crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles and this is my story. Did that correctly. Uh, Rebecca, what's going on? I have to run some diagnostics. I'll get back to you. Thank you. 
is Desmond. I don't understand. Please, wait. I have so many questions. No, this is the Vatican. Alright, I realized I need to enable the subtitles. Okay. So if you want to know about Ezio, oh, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button again. Alright. We're not learning about Ezio right now. So this was the Pope. Where did the Pope go? in the hands of the earth than in the hands of man. Uncle. What can I say? We sent a single man against an entire army. I was worried. Quick, climb up. We have to get out of here. I'm assuming the controls are the same. I feel like they're the same. You would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. This is Uncle. He's a condottiero. One of several important condottieri patrolling the Tuscan countryside. Mario Auditori was a born leader. He began his military career as a six year old when he played a significant role in the Florentine and Milanese conflict at the Battle of Anghiari. Uh, While on an expedition to Mont Cherry with his father, he alerted the Florentine general Micheletto at Tendolo to the appearance of several dust clouds over the road which signaled a surprise attack advance uh, surprise advance by the Milanese troops. Thanks to Mario, the Milanese attack was foiled and the Florentines won the battle. Although Mario sided with the Florence during Anghiari, for the most of his career he defended the interests of his hometown Monte Regioni, derailing Florentine attempts to seize Tuscan territory. While Mario's younger brother, Giovanni, moved to Florence in 1454 to pursue a career in banking, Mario stayed at the family's villa in Monte Regioni, stating in a letter to Giovanni that he preferred fighting like a man to filling out balance sheets. After Giovanni's death, Mario brought Ezio, Claudia, and Maria to the vi uh, family villa and taught Ezio about the conflict between the Assassins and Templars. Ever since, Ezio and his uncle have been inseparable. Alright, so we gotta follow Uncle... Uncle Mario. I'm like, have we got a new outfit for this game? Che cosa fate qui, assassini? God will see you pay for your crimes. You have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place. You condemn what you do not understand. We must go, Ezio, now. The Capella Sistina. Inspired by the architecture of Solomon's Temple, the Sistine Chapel is the most famous room in the Apostolistic Palace. 
which is the Pope's Vatican residence. The chapel's famous ceiling frescoes were only begun in 1508, so no climbing across the finger of God. But the wall paintings that line the chapel, painted by Pi painted by Pietro Perugino, Sandro Botticelli, and Domenico Ghirlandio, among others, are an example are an ample consolation prize. As the Pope's personal chapel, mass is frequently held inside, as are the papal conclaves, which occur after the Pope's death. The cardinals are locked inside the chapel and are not permitted to leave until a new pope is elected. Only through smoke signals sent up a chimney to announce the new pope can they escape. The worst of all horrors, no cardinals, unless ill, can be attended inside by more than one servant. That's just cruel. Interesting. And there is a Luminian in chat if you're interested in capturing it. Alright, so we gotta follow Mario. Get out my way. Did Rodrigo manage to hurt you? Barely. My armor blunted his attack. Be ready to fight with me. What are you doing? Saving you on the look. <laughs> Not bad for an old man. Agree, you still have some skill. Buona questa. Excellent. Good one. Ready. can't sprint because this man doesn't run that quickly. Uncle! He just knocked me over. Oh, get out. Oh, Jesus. Please exit. Where is uncle going? Alright, there he is. Sir. Life expectancy. I feel like everything's in like a slightly sharper detail in the previous game. Which I guess would make sense. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. Give it to me. You can do with it as you will later. Bene. Jump!
Then Minerva talked about the sun. She told a bit. Alright, so Montegirioni is built in the 13th century by the overlords of Siena. Montegirioni was actively involved in the defense of Tuscany against Florentine attempts to gain more territory. At the front of this conflict was the Auditori family, who became the city's rulers and protectors. It was the Auditori who constructed the Montegirioni's famous walls, which can still be seen today. Although standing in opposition to Florentine desires, the Auditori had cordial relations with the Medici family, largely due, largely due to their collective Florentine roots. Monteregioni success, successfully withstood attacks from Florence until in 1554 the city was betrayed. Giovanni Zetti, the keeper of the garrison in a Florentine exile, was allowed to return to Florence in exchange for the keys to the city. Extra Extraordinarily, the Auditori family were allowed to continue the rule of Monteregioni under Florentine leadership, showing that the Medici do not forget their friends. A disaster that occurred long ago, and another that is coming. Sometime far in the future, Vero. Then we need not worry about it. See, si. Perhaps our work is finished. Would that be so bad? <laughs> we upgraded the arsenal while you were away. Ah, oh, and it is now customary for you to fire cannonballs at visitors. My apologies. We only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. place just keeps getting better thanks to you mother claudia it is good to be home how is mother she's fine I, I heard you were returning but i'm glad to see it with my own eyes the contessa of forli is here to welcome you i had no idea you were so famous katarina here is it finished then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything there. Steal yourself, Ezio. They will have many questions. Claudia, tell the Contessa I look forward to seeing her this evening. Let's see. Who's Claudia? The third child of Giovanni and Maria Arditori, and the first girl in the family, Claudia lived a privileged childhood in Florence, high society. After the murder of Giovanni and her two brothers, all that changed. Claudio, Ezio, and Maria fled to Monteregioni in the safety of their uncle Mario's villa. Claudia remained in the villa caring for her new, nearly comatose mother while Ezio set off to avenge the murders. A record book was recovered by from was recovered from by archaeologists reveals a relatively unexciting ex existence between months spent managing the villa's finances brief periods of activity were supplied by Ezio's visits and the renovation she was able to carry out with the money brought back from his travels under her care the town blossomed ushering in a new era of prosperity for Monteregioni Claudia however remained cut off from the world she loved to hear of Ezio's adventures only reminds me of my own lack thereof this is not the life I dreamed of as a child. Ezio does not understand. He treats me so delicately. I despair of ever emerging from this prison. She writes in one particularly poignant letter dated July 1495. Alright, what am I doing? Maybe just... Oh, there are things to do. Uh, Villa Auditori is an important medieval predecessor to to early Renaissance architecture, the villa's wonderful symmetry and ordered geometry were a revelation for its time. After a Florentine attack in 1320 left the facade damaged, Domenico Vauditori, Ezio's great grandfather, purchased the villa. Although he publicly admitted to a renovation of the facade and the addition of a painting gallery, he orchestrated a, comp a complete restructuring of the interior in secret, designing his home to double as a fortress and teaching ground or training grounds. 
Looking out over both the city that protects it and the Tuscan Plains, Domenico was more than just an architect and a warrior. He was also a skilled engineer. Recently discovered hidden compartments and rooms with mechanisms blocking entry are several unique features of the building that make it a technological marvel as well as an architectural one. Interesting. Alright, so I actually wanted the mini-map. I think I know how to- oh, jeez, this is- Okay, alright, I want to go here. Heavy. I always get stuck with this. Who is this lady? Salve. So many flowers. Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to aid me. Let me see what I can do. Back there, I may have given you the wrong impression. Oh? I have no husband. The flowers are for a party. Huh? Am I invited? to Claudia Auditori's birthday party in the villa. If you are willing to help me again, I need someone with class to accompany me. What makes you think I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Auditori himself would be impressed. Oh? Oof. What do you know of Ezio? Claudia thinks the world of him, but he rarely visits her. From what I gather, he's distant. She is right. I have been. Oh no. You? The party was intended to be a surprise. Promise you will not tell Claudia. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am sure I can think of several things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. Now about earning my silence. I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. You must wait until tomorrow. If it pleases you, I will not stand in your way. It will be worth the wait, Ezio. Trust me. Alright, so we did that one. There are two more. I don't like this new... Maybe I'm just not used to it, but I don't like the new, um, directional thingy. The cursor. Alright, this man. Buongiorno. Ezio, Mario is going to murder me. I have lost his favorite horse. Do not despair. I will bring it back. God bless you, Ezio. Excuse me, horse. is running away. Ah, here. Grazie, Ezio. I can no longer keep up with the horses. Promise me you will enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your Uncle Mario. My battles have already been won. That is good news. Arrivederci, Ezio. Okay, and there's one more. I don't know if it's on the inside of the wall or on the outside. It looks like it's the outside. Right. What is over here? Can't climb the wall, maybe it's on the inside of the wall. I have no idea. Maybe I need to hmm. oh, that was not what I wanted to do. There is a 
relicanth in chat if you are interested in capturing it. Alright. Ah. So, these are the new cannons? Yes, Signor Ezio. May I try one? Yes, but... Go on, tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find him. We do not want to waste your time. It is not any trouble. I have all the time in the world now. Find the engineer. Ow. That hurt. Shouldn't have done that. But apparently I have medicine in my pocket, so... Salve, Messere. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? I make cannons, not clocks. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno momento. No one else will touch my cannons. Soldiers have no respect for artillery. They expect a gun to work like magic. You need to feel her out. Give her a little encouragement. We are only equipped with simple cannons now. But I got hold of a design from Francia. A hand cannon. Something called a wrought iron murderer. Imagine firing a cannon from your hands. <laughs> that is the future. He's talking about a gun, right? I wasn't paying attention. What have you done? We used them. They were not ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. <laughs> His breath is more fatal than our cannons. Only when you two fools are shooting them. There, try it. My turn. Hey, something to test the alignment. Where's the dummy? Oh, there. How do I shoot? Oh, jeez. Those ones. The aiming mechanism is fine. The problem must be behind the cannon. He's saying it's a it's a user issue. This man is not very happy. how to shoot. Now, for the other one. I must go. Thanks for your help. If you hear the cannons tomorrow, do not worry. We will be practicing at dawn. Too bad it will not do you any good. Very funny. Now fix the second cannon. Alright, now, now what? Jeez. Alright, there's an objective over there. Do not quite know how to get down from here without hurting myself. Ah, 
There's a ladder. So is this going to be Claudia's party? No. Buongiorno, Ezio. Caterina, to what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here? I desire an allegiance. The papal armies have resumed their march on Forli. Your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. Mother! Machiavelli, it is done. Though not, I think, as any of us expected. I enter the Vaticano and faced Rodrigo. No! He used the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. Combining the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There, a moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. She told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind in the future gave hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there, standing beside me. After her warning, she vanished. Amazing. I cannot imagine such wonders. The vault did not house the terrible weapon we feared. This is good news. What of this goddess, this Minerva? Did she appear human? Yes, but her words proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. Who is Desmond, and where are these temples Minerva spoke of? I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Tell me how it ended with Borgia. Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? Make excuses? Promise power in return? No. None of those things. Interesting. I'm surprised he remains so composed. I let him leave. The Spaniard lives? Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of vaults and gods and ancient places. You should have killed him. We're sure to suffer for it. I am not here to debate the past. Together, we should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Roma. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him, but I trust your judgment. Machiavelli will come around. Alright, well, we can read about my... No, no, we can't. Oh. I didn't want to read that. All right, let's read about Katerina. She's a countess of Forley. She's a noble. A countess by marriage, Katerina was notorious for f far before she ever arrived in Forley. Raised in the court of Milan, she received a classical education while tutored in the art of war by her father, the duke. At court, Katerina also acquired a passion for alchemy and hunting. Countess got to discard. Yep, yep. In 1473, when she was just 10 years old, Caterina became engaged to Giro Girolamo Riario, the Pope's nephew. They, co they consummated their marriage when she was just 14. Once in Rome, she was hail heralded as one of the most outgoing nobles at court, while her husband had a reputation for being one of the most ruthless. With the premature death of the Pope's brother, Girolamo gained even more power, securing the titles of Lord of Imola and Forla. Poorly. When the Pope died, looters sacked Rome, destroying Caterina's residence. Unafraid, despite being seven months pregnant, Caterina rode on horseback to the castle Sant and Hello and defended the Vatican with cannon fire and soldiers. In 1484, she moved with her family to Forley, paid off by someone with a grievance against her husband. The Orsi brothers killed Girolamo in 1488. As a result, Caterina became the ruler of Forley and Imola. 
She wasted no time winning the favor of nearby rulers, revising the tax system, and training the militia herself. Although she advocated peace when those around her were hurt, she dealt fierce vengeance, frequently killing enemies as wives and children in punishment. In 1499, Cesare, in his quest for territory, decided to return to Forley to decided to return Forley to Papal rule. Um, we're not going to read the side note. As an assault by Papal forces became inevitable, Caterina snuck out of Forley with a small company of soldiers on Christmas Day, 1499, and journeyed to Monteregione seeking armed support from Ezio Auditori. So that's where we are now. So we need to go talk to Caterina. And that's where we're headed. There's no way he can just slide out of those boots like that. No way. Oh my goodness. Welcome home. Not quite what I remember from this game, but okay. again you don't need to ask <laughs> one should always have the freedom to choose Shh. what's that <sighs> probably just training exercises Merda. I have to find Mario and rally the troops my men are in the courtyard. I aim to lead them around back and flank our attackers. Stay out of sight. see this. They must have massed to the east during the night. We need to hold them off until the townspeople have escaped. I will take care of it. Use the cannons above the rampart. I intend to lead a frontal assault. Do you have it? I am keeping it safe. The Borgia must not be allowed to breach the walls until everyone is safely away. Insieme per la vittoria. Insieme. Uncle, be careful. I will. Man, the cannon. You can't see the cannon. Where's the cannon? 
Oh, they're over here. Been destroyed. Keep going. I can't. I can't. I'm 
missed. Oops. Twenty-five townspeople left. What am I supposed to do?
group of assassins. And this! Give me the gun, his friend passion for us! We've had too much bloodshed. I think the cleansing is in order. So consider this an invitation from my family to yours! No, not Uncle Mario. So sad. Basta! I can walk. Look out! They are coming! Everyone retreat to the villa! Ugh, I cannot fight like this. Stand with me! I will hold them back. Stop! Wait for us! We thought you had been killed, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. I am surprised it exists. <laughs> Let me through. I must go help the troops. Hmm. Hurry, Ezio! Where's Mother? Is she all right? I am here, Ezio. Grazie, Dio. Could not leave without you. The way out will be dangerous. Protect our mother. Where is Mario? I thought he would be waiting for us. The Borgia infantry are circling the town! Mario is dead. You must leave this place. Take mother to Firenze. Get me a horse! You are not coming with us. Where are you riding? To Roma. 
go, my son. Destroy them. But remember for whom we assassins fight. To Rome. Lucy, I can't seem to get a position on Ezio's POE. POE? Could one of you tell me what's going on? Sorry, Desmond. Peace of Eden. In the Vatican, Minerva talked about other temples, that they're the key to preventing whatever terrible thing is about to happen to the Earth. Right. Find the temples, I'm convinced we need to get our hands on Ezio's Apple of Eden. Minerva altered it somehow when she touched it. Wait, we're at the Auditore Villa. Yes, it's our last safe house in Italy. It turns out the Templars are watching the border. Ezio hid the POE sometime in 1507, but when I try to access that DNA sequence, he seems to be remembering something else. Like a memory inside a memory? Yes, exactly. Maybe. Exactly, maybe. I believe you experienced something similar back at Abstergo, didn't you? Subject 15 exhibited memory within memory like patterns, but she was pregnant. The memories of both the fetus's father and mother were competing. Desmond's not pregnant, at least, well, as far as I can tell. Might just have had a big lunch. Can you skip ahead to a later memory? No, it doesn't work. Well, that sounds familiar. We couldn't access Altair's later memories until Desmond had improved his synchronization. Then it's possible something similar has occurred here. Ezio's troubled state is being transposed onto Desmond, destabilizing the memory. Either that, or Rebecca's just not a very good engineer. Thanks, asshole. What? I'm simply listing possible explanations. And that is amongst the most likely. Touchy. This place isn't secure. Cell phone surveillance can see right through the walls. Don't you mean satellite surveillance? Are you kidding? Abstergo upgraded his cell towers ages ago. The waves go through everything above ground. They're gonna find us. No, they aren't. Come with me. I'm surprised the village, the villa is still alive, but I guess it's not really. Still got holes in it. There's a beam blocking it from the inside. We're not getting in this way. What's her next move? The road just loops back into the highway. This is not a good place for us to be right now. Do we have any tarps? We need to cover up the van. I really hate to stress this, yeah, but we are running out of time. Well, help us then, Sean. Do you have any ideas? I don't know. Maybe there's another way into the sanctuary. Hey, I think I've got something. Follow me. Desmond, that was pretty... awesome. It just felt natural. We can get in through here. Good job. We'll just wait up here then, shall we? Yeah, all alone, with, with massive targets painted on our backs. Won't this turn on? It's great to be out of the animus. This isn't exactly my idea of a good time. Well, let me guess. You're more the inverted six type. What? Desmond? I know how to have fun. Oh, that's very convincing. Yeah, I'm convinced. Okay, okay. After we save the world, I'll show you. Wait, can I get that in writing? <laughs> we have light. What was that? I don't see anything. Run! 
Get out before these soldati catch you. Correte! Go! They escaped through here. What? Ezio and the villagers. After the attack, I can see them now. I know it's difficult, but try to compartmentalize, Desmond. Focus on the present. What if I can't stop the visions? How long before I start painting symbols on the walls? Don't joke about that. Sixteen is dead. We're focusing on the present, okay? Great, it's stuck. I can get under there. Ready. Any chance you can lift that gate? Not unless you want me to end up like that skeleton. I'll find a way around. I can drop into the corridor below through here. Watch out for bats. Where? I meant in case you see any. Remind me not to make you a lookout. Desmond? It's more ghosts. I'm here, okay? Stay with me. Ezio! Did anything fall on you? No. Is Mother all right? Desmond, we can't climb this. How about you give me a boost? That's a bad idea. I could throw you into the air and you grab the ledge. Even worse. Follow me. How about this? What are you going to... <gasps> nice job. I aim to please. I wonder how old these tunnels are. Middle ages, probably. Luckily, the beams still hold our weight. After all this time in the Animus, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but you're really getting fat. Ouch. I even told Rebecca to widen the Animus. Seriously? No. Up we go. Ready. You know, when I came here last... When Ezio came here. Yeah, I meant Ezio. I shouldn't put you through all this. It's not right. Hey, all joking aside, I'm having the time of my life. It's thanks to you. Just focus on where you're going, okay? When did this become my job? If I pulled all the levers, then what would be left for you? Nothing. Nice try. Ready? Found a switch! Something's open! Ezio gets a bath with Katarina Sforza, and I get a swim in a toilet. I've got this one! There's another lever up ahead. Come over here! Man, it's freezing! Stop whining! It's easy for you to say. You aren't swimming in medieval toxic waste. Ugh. 
I smell terrible. You're exaggerating. Remember, this is the time of your life. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Go for it. Okay, release it. How come you don't have to get wet? Because you're here. Charming. Aren't I? I've got you. Thanks. Great. The bridge is out. We can't jump this. I have an idea. You'll have to help me. Stand at the edge and get ready. Ready. <sighs> Made it! Let me see. Oh, you go on ahead. I'll just stay here to die in the dark with the bats. Jump across. Nice work. The bats will be disappointed. For now. Soldati, I have found an entrance. You'd think these stairs would lead somewhere. But they don't. Well, life is full of disappointments. Not me almost falling to my death. Well, let's see. I'm enjoying this. Ah! Alright. I like learning about how, I'll wait here. you know, Ezio's Good. family... Let me just go and get that bridge down for you. Uh, I did the last one. And I'm sure that will be your last one. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very funny. How am I supposed to do this? I can't jump over there. Okay. How do I get out of the medieval toxic waste? There we go. Oh, I need to get over here. Duh. Thank you, Desmond. <laughs> now it's my turn to even the score. There. Thanks. It's a start. Do your magic.
I don't know how to do this. Am I supposed to go down? I don't know, I think I'm supposed to do the whole bounce across the walls thing, but I don't know how to do that. Maybe not, maybe I am supposed to go down? That's not down. Up you go. Thanks. We make a good team. Okay. <sighs> Come on, Desmond, let's go. Ma'am, you just knocked down the bridge for me. I can see the sanctuary. so old. Ezio must have come back here way after the attack. But why? Desmond! Right. Let's open that door. something here can you open the damn bookcase Desmond <laughs> All right. I'm trying not to sneeze okay. you guys did it about bloody time what's that looks like something Ezio left behind there are numbers underneath it. 1419, 1420, and 1421. Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, it's all right. I'm fine. Whoa, they really built this place to last. No signs of structural damage, no cell signal either. Should be safe to set up. Let's get the Animus down there. Everything's good here. Sean, hide the van in town, and make sure you aren't followed. What? What is that smell? It's my clothes. They smell like you swam through a sewer. It was Lucy's idea. Wait a second, guys. We need power down here. There's a line running nearby I can hook into, but the wattage is weak. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you two would like? You know, some caviar, perhaps? Maybe you'd like me to, to knit you a lovely hat. No? Fine, follow me.
Right, look around Monte Regioni for circuit boxes. Rebecca's little doodahs, they'll reroute small amounts of electricity to the power line underneath the villa. Don't ask me how they work. If I understood that, I wouldn't be the fella hiding the van. One of four. There's three. And then there's four. All right. I'm back. Just in time. The sun's rising. Yes! It's booted. We're good to go. Did you miss me? No? Anyone? Hello? Am I speaking out loud? Hello? Workaholics. Let's get started. Okay, so we just reached a checkpoint. I think I'm supposed to jump back into the Animus. But I'm going to end for today. Um, let me swap scenes. We did a lot today. We finished Assassin's Creed 2 and we started Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Um, so it's been a lot of fun. Now we're gonna to raid somebody. Who do we want to raid? I guess we'll go raid uh, Bees in the Spring. That was weird that almost didn't work. We'll go raid Bees in the Spring. Um, she's playing Stardew Valley right now. I believe she just got Willie's boat unlocked, which we got unlocked a while ago. Uh, so we'll see how it's going there. So let me get the raid started. We're going to Bees in the Spring. I will be back tomorrow night at 7. And I'll be playing some Stardew Valley, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll be back Wednesday at 7 o'clock. Wednesday we're going to start Spirit Fair. And tomorrow we're playing Stardew Valley. Uh, have a great rest of your Sunday. I hope you have a nice Monday as well, and I'll see y'all tomorrow night. Bye!